Hello, hello, everybody. I just wanted to give this a second um, so that people could find the video and hop on. Welcome, welcome. I'll give it maybe just about five or 10 more seconds and then I'll start talking for real. <laughs> All right. So welcome everybody to my Sunday night live video. Um, it is Sunday, August 8th, 2021. And if you are watching this live, it is 7 p.m. Central time. If you're watching the replay, then I have no idea what time it is. <laughs> I can't tell the future. <laughs> um, please, when you get here, say hi. Tell me where you're from. Um, tell me how your weekend was. Uh, hello, Alicia, and hello, Mom. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be crafting out of the mini catalog today. And this was actually a request I um, posted in my group the other day, um, what people wanted to see. And Alicia actually said she would like to see something with this um, pretty pumpkins bundle. So we're going to use this tonight and it's gorgeous for fall. Um, and we're also going to be, ma be making one of these guys and they're called like a tower pinwheel card or something like that. So you can see here, it's got all of these sides. And then what's cool about it is it actually lays flat um, for mailing. So I thought that was pretty neat, but we are gonna use that adorable um, Pretty Pumpkins bundle. That's on page 48 of the mini catalog. If you don't have a mini catalog already and you aren't currently working with the demonstrator, please let me know. I would love to get a catalog in your hands. All right, so let me close this up and then I'm gonna bring in my celebration brochure and show you that we are also going to be using um, this stamp set right here called Textures and Frames. Now this is something you can earn for free with a $50 order in my online store and that goes through September 30th. So pretty awesome, about two months of this awesome celebration brochure and this is the freebie brochure. <laughs> um, yes, Alicia said, so fun. Also, I should mention really quick that this is streaming to both YouTube and Facebook. So if it seems like I'm talking to nobody, <laughs> there's people commenting on both platforms. So, um, hello everyone. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'll give you another look here. Um, this is so fun. Now you can see I left mine pretty simple, okay? So you can really jazz these up as much as you want. Um, I wanted to keep mine pretty simple and have it uh, to be able to lay pretty flat so that I can mail it because um, while you comment tonight, I will uh, pick one of you after the live video is over and um, send this card to you. So that's super fun. Hello, uh, Anne and Cher. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, all the measurements will be on my blog post, which will go live at 8 a.m. Central Time tomorrow, but I'll also try to remember all of them today um, while we're live. So you can see here, I've got a piece of, this is the thick basic white, and this is five and three quarters by four and a quarter. And I don't know if you can tell, but I've actually gone ahead and done all the scoring. So if I flip it this way, this is scored. I'm trying to get it where you can see, maybe, that you can kind of see the score lines there, right? I'm like looking at my camera or at my computer off to the side to see, see if you can see them too. But I went ahead and scored this at three quarters, one and a half, two and a quarter, and three inches. So every three quarters all the way to three inches. And that's what's going to create um, this little guy here so that we can add all the pieces. So let's go ahead and fold all these. So um, what's really important with this is you want to make sure that you burnish this well, um, because this is going to make or break whether or not this lays flat pretty much. Now it'll you can get it to lay flat kind of but you know, it's going to be a little bit bulky. And so you want to just keep that in mind. If you go to mail this um, in the US, I know that I think it's a quarter of an inch is as thick as you can have it. Okay, so I've got all of those there. And next one I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my tear and tape. I wanted to use tear and tape because I want to make sure that everything um, is st like sticking on pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and lay the tear and tape down on each of these four flaps. And now that it's burnished, I think you can see that a lot better, um, those score lines. So we're going to add this tear and tape down. And I'm not going to peel off the backings yet because I don't want it to get too sticky. <laughs> I don't want the glue to go everywhere or the adhesive. Um, and this is actually way simpler than I thought. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. When Alicia asked for one of these, I was a little nervous. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh, what? What am I getting myself into, right? No, 
it's all good. All right, so I'm gonna take the backing off of this first flap here and oh my goodness, wouldn't you know it because I'm live, the tape is coming up too. There we go. And whoops, and then it sticks to me. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll this over all the way to that flap and press it down. This kind of reminds me of those Tootsie Rolls that um, the bigger ones that come with like the little cardboard. I don't know why, but that's what it reminds me of. But you can see here now we've got that square and then we've got the adhesive on these other three flaps. And that's where we're going to adhere um, the rest of our basic white pieces. But before we do that, I'm going to show you. So I've got three pieces here because we've already got this one. We only need three more. And these are cut at two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And then I've also got these little panels of the In Good Taste DSP. I loved the wood on here. Oh, Alicia, you're very welcome. This is, it's really fun. And I'm excited to see what you guys do with this. So make, you know, make something with this because I'd love to see what you do with it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and adhere these onto the panels. I thought that this designer series paper was great, 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 great for fall. Um, it really reminds me of like a pumpkin patch or an apple orchard. And then these are, oh my gosh, let's see if I can remember off the top of my head. These are two and a half by four inches. And then of course there's four of them. So we're gonna adhere these down. And then we're gonna put these panels on our pinwheel. All right, let's get this one on here. And then our last one goes right onto that panel that's already on there like so and we'll make sure we get it centered on here just like that and then i'll flip it this way to adhere it down okay so now what i'm gonna do is peel off the backings of these guys and like i said i'm on a live video so of course peeling them off is going to be harder than normal <laughs> all right so i'm gonna stand this up and this is this is the side that has it off all right and I'm gonna stand it up. I'm butting this guy up right here. Can you see that? And I'm just gonna bend it back on itself. This is how I ensure that it's flush on these sides and back here. Um, it's just a trick that I like, but you can really you know, do whatever you want with it. Um, you could also use liquid glue to adhere these down if you're not as confident that you would get them um, flush. That's totally fine, up to you. I was a little bit nervous about the liquid glue because it has a little bit of time um, before it moves and I just, I don't know, I get a little bit nervous. Oh, you like that paper? I do too. And dare to dream big. What is your real name? <laughs> Can I ask that? Um, you don't have to share if you don't want to, but I would love to know and where you're visiting us from. I think I know everybody else who's watching. Um, okay. So we've got those panels on there and then you can see that I'm just flattening it and that is how it lays flat. So super fun. And then I've got these pieces here. I've got four of these pumpkin pie cardstock pieces and these measure one and three quarters by four inches. And this is where that texture and frame um, stamp set is going to come into play because I thought these were really plain on their own. So I wanted to add a little bit more pizzazz. So I've got my pumpkin pie ink pad. So it's the same, you know, it'll be tone on tone, but it'll be cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and just stamp around on here. And while I do this, I would love to hear how your guys' weekends were. What did you do this weekend? We went to the county fair on Friday night and it was super fun. Um, we went, my uh, niece is six and my nephew is three going on like 13. <laughs> uh, so we went and we had a lot of fun. They had like a little RC racetrack and so um, we rented one it was like five dollars for five minutes or whatever and so we rented one and um, Russell my nephew got to um, drive it around which is really cool all right let's keep stamping so you can see I use the circle image and then I'm using this one that actually kind of looks like a coffee ring to me so if you have you know if you I I mean Honestly, now I'm saying that that looks like a coffee ring and I really want to try to make a coffee themed card. So I might have to try that. Um, I also saw some cool ones made with this little ring image um, that were Olympic themed. So that was pretty cool. 
Um, I'm so sad to say I did not have any time to watch any of the Olympics um, because they were all playing at like the worst times ever. And I don't have um, cable TV. Well, I kind of have cable TV. My parents have cable TV, but I don't. <laughs> so I guess I could have watched it, but that's okay. I'll catch it on an app later sometime, I'm sure. <laughs> Um, all right, so I'm going to put some adhesive down on these, and then we're going to go ahead and adhere them to these panels here. And so I'm just going to have this lay kind of flat while I do this. And I love my seal. Absolutely love the seal. I am a tape runner girl, and that is for sure. <laughs> I think I actually um, filmed a video that you guys will see this week, and I think I talked about that in the video, how I, I like liquid glue and I use liquid glue, but it's not my favorite. <laughs> I love our seal a lot. Okay, so I've got these all adhered down, and now we can start decorating. So I'm going to bring in this panel of basic white, and this guy measures um, two and a quarter by three and three quarters. And then I have got um, our rich Razzleberry ink pad. Let's see, Alicia said she spent time in her craft room on Saturday. Today they went to a get together in St. Cloud for her husband's great nephew's 16th birthday. That's awesome. I remember that now that you say that. Alicia made a very cool 16th birthday card for her great nephew. And she shared it in my group. So if you're not in my group, you'll want to make sure to join it. Um, the link is in the description. I th I'm pretty sure it just says Facebook group. <laughs> and you can come and join us over there. We have a lot of fun. All right. So you can see I used that So Thankful for You. Um, and I stamped that in that Rich Razzleberry. And this is going to be the panel that I'll write on. But not actually write on because one of you will win this. And I won't actually write on this so that you can write on it. Okay, so now we've got to just do a little bit more stamping and some die cutting. So I've got just a scrap piece here. And then I'm going to bring in our triple pumpkin, our detailed pumpkin, and then some black ink. We're going to stamp these down. And let's see. That looks pretty good. There's a part of this image that doesn't ink up so well right there. And I think I just have like a default or a, oh my gosh, I can't even think of the name. Default? That's not right. Whatever. You know what I mean? I think I have a faulty. Maybe I was looking for faulty. A faulty stamp, um, which is okay. All right. Cher went to a sunflower field and an anniversary party. That sounds awesome. I did see some of my friends went up to a sunflower field as well. And I feel like they're a little bit early this year. Usually I feel like they are in bloom in like late August. Maybe I'm wrong, but sunflowers are very, very pretty. And in the Twin Cities, we have several, several fields up to the north um, that you can go visit to see some. Okay, so I'm going to color in these pumpkins. Defect. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I could not think of that word. <laughs> thank you both Cher and Alicia for coming to my rescue. I don't know why I had default. I guess they're kind of similar, right? Defect and default um, in how they sound, not how they, not what they mean. <laughs> All right. So I am getting these pumpkins colored. That was Cajun Craze. And then I've got pale papaya. Now you could use the same orange um, or, you know, color these, whatever you color you want to, but I wanted them to be different oranges. I know sometimes pumpkins are white, so you could do whatever you want. And I'm doing some messy coloring. And my definition of messy coloring is that I'm not paying too much attention to whether or not I'm staying in the lines. And that's because I don't want you guys to have to sit here for like 20 minutes to watch me color. <laughs> I don't know if you'd enjoy that or not, but I think I'd run out of things to talk about. <laughs> All right, and then, so that was pale papaya. Now I've got pumpkin pie, and we'll do this last pumpkin here. And how can you not use pumpkin pie on pumpkins? Oh, Alicia, you love these stamps. I do too, and you know what? They almost 
okay, this is going to sound really bad. I was going to say they almost didn't make the cut, but that's not really true because I was always going to get them. I just didn't know if I was going to get them so soon. And then I was like, Melissa, you're being silly. Like it's fall. <laughs> like I was going to prioritize a Christmas stamp over them. And that makes no sense because Christmas is farther away than fall. Oh, look at that. My granny apple green tip is not very good. So I'm going to use the blunt end. Um, and that's a tip for you too. You want to watch your blend tips um, because they do wear out and it's just sign of love. Honestly, it's just sign that you've loved them so much that they need to be replaced. <laughs> so it happens. There were many more flowers to bloom at that field. Oh, that's awesome. Um, yeah. Okay. So that makes sense then, Cher. I think that, you know, a few years ago, I went to a sunflower field up in Isanti and they, I was like, I don't know, like a couple days too late. They were all droopy. It was a bummer, but it's okay because I've, I go almost every year. So, um, it's okay. If that had been like the first year I had ever seen them, that would have been a bummer, but it was okay. All right. Yes, Alicia, you're right. I was just so excited for Christmas. And Anne says she likes to watch me color. Oh, thanks, Anne. Um, that's good to hear because I always am like, ah, <laughs> I almost colored these beforehand. And then I was like, I'll end up with like a 10 minute video if I colored them before. Um, okay. So that was cinnamon cider and the leaves were granny apple green. Now we've got to do this guy. And I figured let's do rich razzleberry because why not? And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to do some of the stem and some of the leaves. And like I said, I'm messy coloring, but the nice thing is that these are blends. So you can messy color and then they'll look nice together later. So look, I just spattered, splattered some color on there. Then we'll use the light one. They still were beautiful pictures. Oh, that's where you were, Cher. That's awesome. Up at, oh my gosh, is it called Green Barn? I think the one I went to is Green Barn Garden Center. I know that there's several. Um, I think I had some friends who were at Treasured Haven, maybe it's called. <laughs> um, so it's good to hear that Green Barn is, or I think you went to Green Barn, I should say, um, but that they are blooming. I'll have to put that on my list to go visit like next weekend or something. Okay, so those are all colored. We're going to go ahead and die cut. So I'm going to bring in my big guy here. And sorry, he does not really fit on the screen. <laughs> Hello, Deb. And yes, share. Okay, green barn. Yeah, it's a far drive, but it's kind of pretty and or it is very pretty. And then it all of a sudden, like you're just driving up a road and just pops up out of nowhere. <laughs> That's how I felt. I was like, oh, boom, we're here. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to grab pretty pumpkins here. And I know we're way off in the corner over here because... That's just how it's got to be. Um, and I'm grabbing out the coordinating die cuts. Um, so there's two that cut out these images. I'm going to lay them down. And I know you can kind of see it in the corner of the screen. Lay them down. And then I'm going to use my post-it note tape to hold them in place. And I love this post-it note tape. I just got it a few weeks ago. So I've been using it for several weeks now. And it's awesome. You can get multiple uses out of it. And the problem I was having before was that I was using washi tape and it was ripping my cardstock. So I switched over and I'm happy about it. <laughs> All right. So you can't see over here. I've added a scrap piece of pumpkin pie and I'm going to use this die cut to cut out a pumpkin. All right. Here we go. Let's see, we went there to find a donut truck and found it by chance. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. All right. And a donut truck. That's pretty neat. Good to know you need to try that. Yes, I'll show you in just a second. So this is what it comes. This is the, um, oh my gosh, let's see. We'll go here. Um, this is what it looks like. I got it off of Amazon. I got a six pack and it was, I can't remember how much, but it was pretty cheap, but it's post-it note tape. It's white. It's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So let's close this guy up like so. And then we will bring in our pieces here. 
and I will grab these so you can see it's just so easy. I actually also used to use post-it notes themselves, um, which worked fine, but I felt so bad like using up all my post-it notes. You know what I mean? All right, let's see here. And then we've got our pumpkin. Cutie little pumpkin. Yeah, you're welcome, Deb. All right. There we go. And now we can get these guys adhered to our pinwheel. Now I put the um, this guy down already. It doesn't really matter, you know, which section these all go on. Um, so I'm just gonna do them wherever. <laughs> But let's do this. All right, while I adhere these down, um, I do want to mention too that uh, if you aren't subscribed for my newsletter, um, my email newsletter, you're going to want to do that because it's awesome. <laughs> Seriously, it's probably one of my favorite things I do every week. And this week, it has Create and Color Challenge number 26 in it. And do you guys know what that means? 26 means that we have been doing create and color challenges for six months, which is insane because I can't believe it's been that long. I seriously cannot believe that. But the link to sign up for that newsletter is in the description box below. If you're on YouTube, it's below. If you're on Facebook, it's above the video. <laughs> um, so here we have it though. Look at how fun this is. So we'll flip through all these. Look at how fun that is. And then it just stands up. Super super awesome and it mails flat alicia said holy buckets <laughs> um is that in reference to create and color challenge yeah i think alicia has been in every single one and share i think oh let's see share i think you've been you've done almost every single one too um my mom has done a couple they're so fun thank you all so much for the kind compliments and for loving this card i hope you give it a shot um, it what it was super fun, and I know that you can do some really awesome things with it. Um, if you are on YouTube, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you're on Facebook, I would appreciate a heart and um, liking my Facebook page if you have not already. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to uh, end this video, and shortly after, I will be drawing drawing a name to see who wins the card. So thank you for commenting during the live. One of you will receive this in the mail, which is super fun. So take a look at my Facebook page around, oh, probably eight o'clock or so um, to see who won tonight's card. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next week. Bye for now.